The internet is getting a complete reset, and this is the thing that will make your personal app a reality. We are standing at the precipice of what can only be described as the iPhone moment for the entire blockchain space, and it's being powered by the internet computer. In the next few minutes, we're going to pull back the curtain on a complete paradigm shift, not just in how we build apps, but in how we conceptualize ownership, creativity, and value in a digital world. You'll see how a project you've probably never heard of is constructing the foundation highway for every single blockchain, and how this changes everything from your personal brand to global enterprise. Guys, 99% of people watching don't like or subscribe to the videos, so please take a second to hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. This video is created for educational and informational purposes only. It does not promote or endorse any financial product, investment, or cryptocurrency. All information presented here is based on publicly available sources and independent analysis. Viewers are encouraged to conduct their own research before making any financial or technological decisions. This is more than a moment. It's a genuine architectural shift. The Catalyst is now live, a first-of-its-kind on-chain app store, but calling it an app store almost undersells it. This isn't about mimicking the curated walled gardens we know. This is about creating a sovereign, open marketplace where your skills, your art, your unique intellectual property transforms into a verifiable, tradable, and directly monetizable asset. The utility goes far beyond simply cloning a website design. It's a new economic model for human creativity itself. We'll get to the mind-bending use cases for brands like Red Bull in a moment, but first, we need to understand the fundamental break from the past. Let's examine how we monetize creativity today. A musician uploads a track to Spotify. A filmmaker releases a video on YouTube, a writer publishes a blog. They earn, but through layers of intermediaries, opaque algorithms, and platforms that own the relationship. The model is fractured. A new paradigm emerging on the internet computer shatters this completely. It proposes an on-chain app store where anything you conceive and code, a tool, a game, a digital template, an interactive experience can be listed. You set your price, your terms, someone discovers it, hits copy, and a direct peer-to-peer -peer transaction occurs instantly. Your creativity isn't just hosted. It's an asset with provable ownership and a built-in royalty mechanism, similar to how NFTs revolutionized digital art ownership, but now applied to functional software. Imagine yourself in this new world. You're a developer, a digital artist, a community manager, a financial analyst, whatever your skill set. You identify a problem in your daily workflow or see an opportunity for a novel digital interaction. Using platforms built on ICP, you craft a solution. Maybe it's a custom dashboard for tracking DeFi yields across multiple chains. Perhaps it's an interactive template for creating generative art. It could be as simple as a better calendar app that syncs with on-chain events. You polish it and publish it to the on-chain store. You might set a one-time clone fee, a subscription model, or even make it free to build your reputation. When another user finds it and clones it, the value exchange is direct, transparent, and permanent. Your creative and technical input is now a capital-generating asset. This is the leap from being a user of the web to being an owner of its infrastructure. But the implications explode in scale when we move from individuals to institutions. Let's talk about big brands and intellectual property. Picture a company like Red Bull or Coca-Cola. Their brand identity, their logos, color schemes, mascots, and ethos is among their most valuable assets. In the current web, protecting and licensing this IP is a legal labyrinth. Now, envision a campaign where Red Bull creates an interactive, on-chain mini-app for an extreme sports event. This app contains their official, verifiable IP packaged with cool functionality. They then set a licensing fee, say $50 per copy. Now, any creator, anywhere in the world, can visit this on-chain store, pay the fee, and receive a verified, sanctioned digital asset pack containing Red Bull's IP. They can then use it to build their own Red Bull mountain bike simulator or a Red Bull energy drink lounge in a virtual world. The brand gets micropaid per usage, per creation, in a fully automated and auditable way. The creator gets legitimate, high-quality assets without fear of legal reprisal. This isn't speculative fan art. This is officially licensed co-creation facilitated by tamper-proof smart contracts. The IP lives in a secure canister, with rules dictating exactly how it can be used, and those rules cannot be broken. This transforms brand marketing from a broadcast model 
to a participatory, revenue-generating ecosystem. This concept extends beyond entertainment brands to specialized knowledge. Consider someone like Sheldon from the Omniti Project, a cybersecurity expert. His deep technical knowledge is a form of high-value IP. He could encode his expertise into a suite of secure application templates, pre-configured with best-practice security settings, audit log structures, and compliance frameworks. A startup founder needing a secure backend for a new app but lacking Sheldon's depth could browse the store find Sheldon's Omnity security base, pay a modest fee to clone it, and instantly have a robust, secure foundation. They aren't just buying code, they're buying time, risk mitigation, and specialized skill. The App Store, therefore, becomes a marketplace for applied knowledge, not just pre-built apps. It allows any expert, a lawyer, an accountant, a designer, to productize their skill set in a tangible, scalable way. The enabling force for all of this on the internet computer is a growing ecosystem of builder tools with platforms like Caffeine at the forefront. Caffeine represents the what, the interface where this creation happens through intuitive prompting and low-code environments. But to understand the why now, we must look deeper. A tool is only as powerful and trustworthy as the network it runs on. Caffeine is possible because of the internet computer's unique architecture, its reverse gas model, its canister smart contracts that host both front-end and back-end, its web speed performance. You need this secure, scalable, autonomous network first. Then you can build a product that truly leverages those properties. This is a critical distinction. ICP provides the unstoppable, tamper-proof foundation. Caffeine and others build the accessible houses on top of it. This brings us to the second, perhaps even more profound, pillar of the ICP thesis, multi-chain integration. The internet computer was never meant to be an isolated island. Its core innovation, chain key cryptography, was designed from the start to be the seamless hub, the highway, connecting all other blockchains. For years, this has been a promise. Today, it is becoming a material reality through the work of pioneering ecosystem teams. And the story here is nothing short of jaw-dropping. Enter ICP Hub Egypt. This is not a typical community grant group. This is a massive, self-funded development powerhouse operating with the scale and ambition of a top-tier tech venture. With deep regional developer networks and significant resources, they are building infrastructure that showcases ICP's core value proposition. Their flagship project is the Manise Protocol. To grasp its significance, engage in a thought experiment. Imagine if tomorrow a team announced a new protocol on Solana or Ethereum that enabled native, secure interaction with over 50 other blockchains a true interoperability hub. It would dominate crypto headlines for weeks. That is the scale of what Manise represents. It is designed to be the mega highway for multi-chain tokens and assets. The protocol allows a token or digital asset to be managed from a secure canister on the internet computer while being natively accessible and usable across dozens of other chains like Solana, Sui, Aptos, and Ethereum. The ICP canister acts as the sovereign control point the single source of truth, coordinating state and ownership across all these disparate environments. This isn't simple bridging or wrapping. It's about establishing the internet computer as the orchestration layer for the multi-chain universe. We are already seeing a real-world, live test case of this vision. A popular community-driven token called Builder is serving as the pioneer. The process is elegant. Builder tokens are locked in a vault on Solana. This action is verified by a canister on the internet computer which then mints a representation of those tokens within the IC ecosystem. But it doesn't stop there. That same canister, leveraging Manise's architecture, can then facilitate the movement of those token representations onto another chain, like SUI, where they become usable in SUI's native environment. The entire life cycle, from Solana to ICP to SUI, is governed by the logic in that canister. This is the first tangible, working proof of ICP's multi-chain promise. It's a demonstration that the highway is not only built, but open for traffic. This convergence between a revolutionary on-chain creation engine like Caffeine and a seamless multi-chain infrastructure like Manise creates a feedback loop of immense potential. This is the ecosystem play that changes everything. It's about cohesion. The internet computer positions itself not as just another smart contract platform, but as the foundational service layer for Web3. It's the layer where communities can build their own social apps without corporate oversight, where meme coins can gain utility across multiple chains, where DeFi protocols can source liquidity from anywhere, 
and where enterprises can deploy tamper-proof interoperable systems. Recall the evolution of business adoption. First, why do we need a website? Then, why do we need a social media profile? The inevitable next question is, why does our brand, our community, our very operational workflow not exist as a persistent, sovereign, on-chain application? That moment of realization is dawning now. The most exciting signal is that builders are not waiting for permission or perfect conditions. They are actively using these tools today to solve real problems. They are building personal knowledge management apps that store data on-chain, creating custom CRM systems for their freelance businesses, developing automated archives for Twitter spaces that transcribe and store content permanently. They are doing this because the tools are finally accessible. This builder ethos is fostering a new kind of strategy. Savvy creators are talking about a dual-path approach, releasing high-quality free apps and templates to build a reputation to become a Fiverr's choice or a top-rated builder within the ecosystem. This builds a follower base and establishes credibility. Then, they can offer premium, more complex, or commercially licensed versions of their work. Your reputation as a builder becomes a compounding on-chain asset itself, much like the Builder Tokens experiment embodies. Yet a persistent question remains. If this technology is so groundbreaking, why does it feel like it's flying under the radar? The answer often lies in the distracting noise of short-term price action, which drowns out the steady signal of technological progress. Monumental technical feats like the Manise Protocol are developed in the open but require deep understanding to appreciate. This highlights a crucial need for the broader ICP ecosystem to become better champions of its own champions. The community, influencers, and even the core protocol itself must amplify these wins, weave them into a cohesive narrative, and present a unified, attractive front to the outside world. The pieces are all here being assembled by builders in Egypt, in community chats, and in solo developer rooms. They are building a whole new paradigm of potential, and we are going to see applications emerge from this fusion that we cannot even conceive of today. So, what is the ultimate takeaway from all of this? We are witnessing the quiet assembly of a new logic for the Internet. An Internet where individual sovereignty is baked into the code, where creativity has direct and unmediated utility, and where the artificial walls between blockchain silos are being dissolved by cryptographic innovation. The Internet computer is not merely offering a faster blockchain, it is proposing a complete re-architecture of how software is built, owned, and interconnected. Your next digital footprint won't be a profile on a corporate platform. It will be an app you own, on a network you can trust. If you find this deep dive into the future of decentralized technology valuable, support this channel. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell icon so you don't miss future updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.